Hey, Food Review Friday finds me in Signal Hill, and I'm here outside this nice little mocktail place. It's kind of cute. This is Shirley's Temple out wow, in Signal this Hill. this place looks great. And I'm here's go Eric Escobar. Good food. Yep, Eric Escobar featuring tonight at the show and open mic. We'll see you inside. Oh, man, Food Review Friday, my favorite show. Check it out <laughs> Saturday for double the fun. It's a lot of fun. If you get a chance to see him do comedy, it's going to be great. But as he mentioned, this place does do food and mocktails, and it's actually pretty neat. It's got a nice little setup inside, really small, intimate space, with a little bit of patio out here, too. So you've got outdoor seating and a lot of options. Lovely space. Look at that mural. Very casual setup. You know, and they do mocktails here. They've got non-alcoholic stuff too. This is a mocktail that I ordered. This is the retro rose. Take a look at that. Nice, sweet, and edible rose petals. Not much of a drinker, but you know, when in town, you gotta try it. This costs 12 bucks, which actually isn't pretty bad. So down the hatch. It's sweet. It's sweet. It's got that non-alcoholic Prosecco in there. So it's actually pretty good and I like it a lot. It's not my usual cup of tea, but it's a very, like I said, I love the atmosphere in here and that's what you're here for. So I ordered, also ordered the bacon hot honey flatbread. They've got a number of sandwiches and flatbreads, so go check it out. So this is the hot honey bacon flatbread. It's actually pretty good. It's got that goat cheese, hot honey, bacon. What's wrong with bacon? So here we go, down the hatch. <laughs> mm. Nice and warm. I usually prefer my flatbread to be crisper, but it's pretty good. The bacon, the honey, the goat cheese actually makes a nice medley. I'm gonna finish my drink, I'm gonna finish my uh, flatbread, and we'll talk about Shirley's Temple. Cheers. Let's talk about Shirley's Temple. Now, let's be clear. I'm not, I don't drink, so mocktails to me are just fruit drinks and, you know, adjust accordingly. Now, that said, the Retro Rose drink that I had, quite good. 12 bucks, not bad for a cocktail, but it's a mocktail, so paying a little more for than what I'm used to, which is fine. Flatbread was about $14, so everything came to about $30. Things are a little pricey here, and that's, and that's unavoidable. Um, a can of soda costs three bucks and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. But what you're there for isn't necessarily the food. You're there for the drinks. You're there for the ambiance. A very hip, very chill place. Speaking strictly for the food, you know, like I said, the bacon hot, you know, hot honey bacon flatbread was pretty good. Bread was soft. Goat cheese was great. The bacon was crisp. The honey was perfect. Um, but it is, it is flatbread. It's good. It's, it, it's a nice combination and it'll satisfy. Overall, like I said, um, if you're paying for the ambiance, you're paying for a nice place to chill and hang out. And I liked it, but it's not something that's necessarily going to be on my regular rotation because I get, like I said, I'm not much of a mocktails guy. If you like that stuff, it's a great choice. They've got tons of options. So there's, this is one of those things that actually has two ratings. If you like mocktails, if you like those kinds of drinks, fancy drinks, I like this place a lot. I would check it out if I were you. But strictly from a food perspective, strictly from a foodie's perspective of how things were, the drinks were good, the food is good enough. But you're paying quite a bit for the mocktails and the food. If you're doing one or the other, you'll be all right. But overall, I'd say Shirley's Temple gets a very high good rating. Verdict? That's got food. Good stuff. Worth checking out. Definitely fun. Definitely awesome. But, uh, you know, if you want food, food, there may be better choices. Cheers.